Welcome to Jenny Fedora Reviews, where this week we're going to be unboxing the Canna Kit Raspberry Pi 3 Ultimate Starter Kit. This is the 32 gigabyte edition. Uh, it's currently available for about $89.99 on Amazon.com. And it does come with a lot of really great things to work with as far as your Raspberry Pi kit. So let's go ahead and just break into it and we'll discuss the different components as we come across them here. Right, something from Canakit thanking us for our purchase, and it's a nice little uh, reference for the different hookup points. We're just gonna leave that over there. Has a included HDMI cable, looks to be maybe a three or four foot here. Go ahead and just start lining stuff here. A breadboard for use with your electronics, and of course a bunch of electronics. Uh, of course, I am not electronically inclined, so I have no clue what most of this stuff does. But uh, we will, I'm pretty sure I'm going to learn. That's what these things are mostly used for. We have a USB micro SD card reader. That's pretty interesting. Didn't expect that. Uh, more bits and bobs and uh, various things for the electronics, including different rainbow cables and things like that. Uh, we have a GPIO breakout board and ribbon cable for the Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, what that turns into. Oh yes, I've seen these before. I'd never heard them called that before, but... And then we have a nice... This is always nice when they're shipped with the foam here. Keeps it nice and anti-static. So, drop that in there. And this is the 2.5 amp power supply. which I'm assuming it's going to be, yeah, it's just a straight direct power supply, not a USB thing. You can USB these. They do hook up with micro USB things. I'm just gonna drop that down there. The uh, Raspberry Pi itself does run off of, uh, you can use backup batteries and things like that. They do limit the amount of time that you can have them operational for, but in the end, if it's just something incidental, like drone maintenance or things like that, it's usually pretty cool just to do that as far as portability. Of course, we have the ever-present case, which is not not strictly necessary, but it's always nice to have something that does kind of protect and everything. Got a little bit of a manufacturing flub there. Yeah, and this one has the nice Raspberry Pi logo to it. And now we move on to the actual factual thing. Of course, we have various manuals and other things like that. We're just gonna forget we saw those. So, the Canna Kit is one of the many Raspberry Pi kits that they use. Uh, the Raspberry Pi itself is uh, something you can purchase on its own. It is a uh, delightful device. It's a wonderful computer here. Uh, I'll look up the specs in just a moment, but we're going to break in to the box here. Because this is called the 32 gigabyte version because it comes with a 32 gigabyte card, micro SD, that is preloaded with the uh, Raspbian operating system, which is uh, Debian-based Linux. And I've played around with it with another Raspberry Pi that I have, and it's quite fun. And this is the device itself, the Raspberry Pi. Now, while I'm holding it up here for you, let's see if I can identify these different things because I, once, like I said, am not electronically inclined. inclined. So, um, the Raspberry Pi Model B it contains a 1.2 gigahertz, 64-bit quad-core ARM V8 CPU. Uh, has integrated 802.11n wireless LAN, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, 4.1, and Bluetooth Low Energy as well. And then, as like its predecessors, it also has one gigabyte built-in RAM, four USB ports, 40 GPIO pins. That's these things right here. A full HDMI port, a Ethernet port, a combined 3.5 millimeter audio jack and composite video jack, a camera interface, which is this little dongle right here, I believe, a display interface also, one of these somewhere, I think it's one of these two, 
and a micro SD card slot on the bottom here. That's where you load in the operating system and any available memory. A, and a video core for 3D graphics core, which I imagine is that tiny little chip right there. So uh, these things are really great for hobbies and uh, various projects and things like that. If you want a nice tiny computer, this has actually been said to be the same processing capability as the first generation Xbox. Uh, I've played around with it enough to really say um, it's a decent machine if you can find a way to just put something together. $35 plus whatever case and peripherals you might want to get. Uh, the kit that you see before you right now is about 90 uh, Of course, the one thing that's bought alongside it uh, more often than not is the next thing we're going to be unboxing probably in the near future, which is this 7-inch LCD monitor. Of course, they do also come shipped with, uh, or you can purchase um, both official and unofficial uh, capacitive and resistive touch screens and other such cases and things like that. So it's just a really well modular and very portable system. And I'm really excited to see what we can come up with this. So uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, if this is something that you like to see or want to see more of, do let us know in the comments below. And of course, we'll see you next week.